Hi guys, we are group 75 and we will build 3 logic gates for you today. AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate. I am Amin Mamatli and uh, I will edit the video and the sounds. I am Ashton Anabella and today I will build NOT gate. NOT gate is a gate with one input and one output. So we will need only one button in this gate. Then I connected the MPN transistor as the main component of the NOT gate. Then I place all connecting cables that were used to link all the components together on the breadboard. They carried the electric current between the power source, transistor, resistor, button and the lamp allowing the circuit to work properly and of course we add lamp to see if gate is working or not and also resistors play a huge role in it the base of the transistor was connected to the input button through a resistor to limit the current and protect the transistor after finishing to connect the last cable our work is almost done there as we know, the NOT gate gives the opposite of the input signal. That's why if I don't touch the button, lamp should be on. And as you can see, lamp is on right now. And when I press the button, the lamp turns off. And then when I stop to touch the button, lamp is on again. I'm Ismail Orzov and I will build and gate. We connect the negative rail of the breadboard to the emitter of first transistor. Then, connect the collector of the first transistor to the emitter of the second transistor. And, connect the collector of the second to the lamp. An AND gate is a type of logic gate that requires two inputs and gives out one output. That's why, we will use two buttons and two transistors, but only one lamp. In order for the lamp to turn on, current has to pass through both transistors, and in our system, buttons activate them. Then we add two buttons which will serve as inputs. Since the AND gate gives output 1 only when both inputs are 1, or lamp has to turn on only when both buttons are pressed. In final stage, we attach the remaining parts of our system using wires and resistors. Main function of resistors here is to limit the flow of electric current. This function is essential because it prevents the current flow into the transistor bases. Now we will try and see if our system works or not. We will observe that when only one or none of the buttons are pressed, the lamp is off. It will turn on only when two buttons are pressed at the same time. I'm Roman Mirdev and I'm gonna build our gate today. So first, what exactly is an OR gate? An OR gate is one of the most basic logic gates used in digital electronics. It's truly simple. Output becomes high or 1 when any of the inputs are high. That means if either input A or input B is 1 if or if both uh, are 1, the output will also be 1. The only time it gives a zero when both inputs are zero. Now let's take a look at how I built it. I used two MPN transistors, some 220 ohm resistor, uh, two push button uh, for the input, and one LED for the output. I connected the transistors so that if current flows through either one of them, the output will activate the LED. The resistor protects the LED and transistor from too much current. I also made sure to connect the ground and power rails properly, keeping the layout neat and easy to understand. This setup is uh, basically mimics how an actual OR gate chip works, but here we can see every connection clearly.
Now let's test it. When both switches are off, the light stays off. If I press one button, the light turns on. And if I press both, it, stay, it still stay on. That's how the OR gate works. Simple, logical and really fun.